Cameron Palmer here with Sean Doyle, left tackle for the Kenton Bombers. First off, you score a touchdown. Just tell me how you feel and break down the play. Yeah, so it just started off, you know, a simple inside run, and uh, I'm blocking my guy. I end up trying to go somewhere else, and I, I see the ball on the ground, and as soon as I had it, I mean, there was probably nothing in the world that could take that ball out of my hands. Go for the line, I got it across, and honestly, probably the best one I've had in a long, long time. Talk about your offensive line play. You guys kept Colton back clean all night. You kept him off the ground. Just tell me how big that was for you yeah, guys. So, so we knew it was going to be important. They were going to stack the box, you know, eight people in the box. We knew we were going to have to pass it. So just having a good pro like that, having, 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 having to expand the, I agree. expand the box like that so that we could run the ball. It was just part of the game plan. We knew it had to be happening. So that's something we, we played all week, implemented it, and it was fantastic. And then given them beating you twice last year, once in the playoffs, and then you guys coming into their place and beating them on their homecoming in your senior year, tell me how good this feels. No, yeah, obviously all that matters and stuff like that. Beating them on their homecoming, I knew they wanted it. At the halftime, I knew they were probably really mad. We wanted it more. We were hungry. So just seeing my team coming out, and we kind of synergized the energy we brought together. I'm so incredibly proud of my unit and my team and what they did tonight, and I can't wait for more games to come. Thank you. Cameron Palmer here with Sean Patrick from Kenston. You score a touchdown to end the first half. How big was that for your team's momentum to start the second half? Um, it was definitely big. You know, we had to, we had to, we know that we had to go in and uh, tie it. We couldn't let them have the momentum going into halftime, so that definitely helped. Tell me how good it feels to come into Chardon's place and win. Oh, it feels great. You know, we don't, we don't like those guys, uh, but, we, but we definitely respect them. So it definitely, it definitely felt really well. Well, felt really good to come in here and uh, take them out during the homecoming game. And tell me about what we can look forward to the, the rest of the season from you. Uh, just look forward to us um, getting better and definitely playing as a team way better. Thank you. Cameron Palmer here with Lucas Colton, quarterback of the Kenson Bombers. First off, break down the touchdown pass that you threw. So the play was called. We got the exact look we wanted. And um, I was... I wasn't expecting it to be that wide open. The safety flew down, and Dylan Krupp just flew right by him, and the O-line just gave me, like, all day back there. So everything worked out. You played a clean football game. You bounced back after two games of throwing interceptions in a row. Tell me how good it feels to play clean football and pick up the win. Yeah, so we started out hot, and then last week the team took a big hit. And I think, honestly, it was very good for us. It was humbling. We got too high, and we thought that we couldn't be beat, and I think it was – I mean, I think it was really good for us as much as that as that sounds. It, and then we went back to practice. I obviously didn't play my best week of football last week. And um, so I just, there are a lot of people doubting us, doubting me, especially the ability to throw after um, the interception. So I just wanted to, uh, um, I just wanted to put my head down and worked really hard this past week. And I just, uh, just let it fly. No, nothing to worry about. It's gonna let it fly. Tell me how good it feels to beat Chardon in their home stadium. Something you guys ha they haven't they haven't lost since 2018, and you guys haven't beat them since 2019 or 2018, I believe. Just tell me how good it feels to pick up this win. It feels amazing. It's um, I mean everybody in this room, everybody on this team believed it. We I mean no one went in this game thinking we were gonna lose. I mean those numbers to us were just numbers. This is just another football game for us. So it feels amazing to get that win. Thank you. Cameron Palmer with Charlie Thompson, defensive back for the Kenton Bombers. Congrats on the win. You take down Chardon, 31 to 21 in their home stadium. Tell me about the interception you picked off Will Francis at the end of the game to seal it. Talk to me about the play. I mean, it was just everybody. Everybody had to do a job. The D line came off strong. Like they gave him all that pressure. Linebackers were reading, doing their job, and you know I was just in the right place. I mean, I was reading them. He threw it up, and I was there to pick it off. I mean, it was just a great team. It's a great, great team effort. Just, tell me how good it feels to pick up this huge win over a long storied rival after last week's loss to Lake Catholic. Yeah, man, I mean, um, last week, that, that didn't show me anything. We came out lazy. This week, we, we knew we knew what we had to do. We had to come out through ourselves. Right? That's not the team we are. So we had to come out and show them what we're made of. We played our ass. We played our butts off. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cameron Palmer here with Dylan Krupp. Dylan, you catch a touchdown tonight. Just break down the play for me first. All right, so the coverage was open. I was waiting for the play call. Uh, I saw it open. I uh, just ran straight, broke it off at 12. I was smiling mid-round, like, I'm going to do it. It's a touchdown. All night, I was just waiting for my number to be called and just had to deliver it. And so tell me about how you guys adjusted to them from, the, from earlier on in the season, not throwing the ball much, to being ready to probably expect some passes tonight. Yeah, it's a lot different. Uh, our practice play had to change. We had to be ready for it. Um, 
The boys did a good job on the keyboard tonight. The linebackers did a good job. Um, we were just ready for it. And then tell me how good this win feels. This win feels amazing. 315 days since we lost in the playoffs. It's an unreal feeling. Um, we can't focus on next week. I have it on my wrist, 315. Uh, this game meant a lot to me and the team, so I'm very happy. Thank you. Cameron Palmer here with Jeff Grubich. Congrats on the win. You beat Chardon 31 to 21. Just kind of break down the week for me. Yeah, you know, we, uh, with the Thursday game and uh, the way the game ended last week, you know, we had to turn a negative into a positive. And our captains and our seniors, man, they wanted to get right back to work. So we came in Saturday morning and uh, we had a full full out practice, man, full pads. And we got after it and we got better. And uh, kids worked, man. And uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even on Thursday, man, you know, a lot of teams do a, a mock game or whatever. And our kids came out, man, when we grinded for two hours out there. And those kids just worked, man. And uh, in, in this conference, if you don't put the work in and you take a, a day off in, uh, in your preparation, you're going to get your butt kicked. You mentioned conference. This is a big conference win to start conference play. How much... How good does it feel starting WRC play here for the yeah, next four huge. weeks? I mean, it, this is a tough conference. I said a long time ago, man, in Northeast Ohio, I'd put this conference up uh, uh, against anybody. There's a reason why we can't get two other teams to come in here and join us. And uh, you know what? The good thing is it, they're great coaches in this conference. It's a great staff over at Chardon. And uh, if you can stay healthy, man, they get you prepared for the playoffs. Just tell me how good this win feels. It's been a long time since you beat the Hilltoppers and you beat them in their stadium, which has also been a long time. Tell me how good it feels. Yeah, for us, man, it's always good to get the dub, and it's always great to get a dub at the uh, opposing team's hometown and on their field. So I'm proud of our kids, man. And, uh, you know, they can enjoy tonight, but unfortunately tomorrow's Tell the Truth Saturday, man. We're going to watch the film, see where we screwed up, and we're going to continue to get better. Thank you, Coach. You got it, my man.